guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Lizelle and today's video, as the title suggests, is of course a tutorial on this look right here, which is my Kim Kardashian inspired makeup look. I'm actually surprised that I have not yet done a Kim Kardashian inspired makeup look because her style when it comes to makeup is very much up my pathway. This look is pretty much what I would personally go for just with a lot of extra steps because I mean, I was trying to be all Kim K with it. She's got that vibe of like natural glam, which is what I am personally into because this is definitely something that I would like to do on myself, but there are just so many extra steps to it because I did go ahead and do some cream contouring and all that today. So yeah, if you guys are interested to see how I did this, keep on watching. If you do enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you're new, you know what to do. Join the crew by hitting the little red subscribe button down below. And don't forget to hit the bell as well so you don't miss any more videos that I post. I just realized that that intro really rhymes and I promise I don't intend to do it. It just, it just comes out like I'm naturally a rhymer. So first things first, I have of course already prepped and moisturized my skin and now I am going to go in with this. This is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. So now that I've let that settle into my skin for a little bit, I am going to go ahead and prime. Today I'm using the Face of Australia Face Base Primer. If you guys have watched any of my other videos, you would know that this is actually my current favorite primer. So that's why you see it popping up in so many of my videos. I'm also just going to go in with some of the Anoxa Pure Silk Skin Primer. This, however, is only going to be applied to my t-zone area just because it does help to kind of blur out the look of your pores and give you a smoother base and canvas to work with now it's time for foundation and today a lot of you guys would guess that I'd be using this one this is the NARS natural radiant longwear foundation and the shade that I use is called Punjab so this is actually my current favorite foundation and it is perfect for this look because as the name suggests it is natural radiant and of course long wearing. So I'm just applying that to my face using the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. Next up I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of concealing and highlighting. So today I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC20 and I'm just going to go ahead and take that onto my fingertips and apply that to all the areas that I want to not only conceal but also highlight. So as you can see I'm going in underneath my eyes down the bridge of my nose, above my brows, and a little bit on my chin. As you can see, I'm just using the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge to blend all that concealer into the skin. So today I'm going to be baking and I'm just using the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder. As you guys can see, I am just packing that powder onto those areas where I just applied the concealer and I'm going to let that sit for a little bit. And this is really going to help set those areas and also brighten them up even more. Now, I honestly don't like doing this just because I feel like it really sucks the life out of my skin and dries it out and if you guys know me you know that I do have naturally oily skin so it's a very abnormal feeling to me but like I said for the purpose of this tutorial I am going to try it now while I let that settle and do its thing I'm going to go ahead and cream contour which again is something I don't normally do but I know that Kim Kardashian is well known for cream contouring. So today I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Stick. This one is in number 330 Toffee Caramel. So as you can see, I'm just going ahead and carving out my cheekbones, also applying it around my forehead and a little bit on my jaw as well. To blend that into the skin, I'm just using the Real Techniques Sculpting Brush and I have sprayed it with the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist just to keep that moisture and dewiness within the skin. And then at this point, it's just all about buffing and blending till everything looks nice and seamless. I'm just quickly dusting away that setting powder because I can feel it. It's like sucking the life out of my skin and I'm not down with it because I also need to go ahead and cream contour my nose, which I can't do if the powder is still um, all around it. So I'm just dusting this away. Now I'm going to go ahead and kind of contour out my nose. So I'm using the Zawaver 142 Concealer Buffer Brush. I've just taken my brush directly to that product. And as you can see, I'm just going ahead and applying it to those areas that I want to cream contour once again. I am going to go ahead and kind of bronze up and also set that contour in place with the Hula Benefit Bronzer. So I'm just going to go ahead and run this over my cheeks, around my hairline and temples, just to, of course, set it in place and further bronze up my skin. For my eyes, I am going to use the bronzer once again. I'm using the Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush to go ahead and apply that through my crease and also a little bit onto the lids and using the bronzer as my eyeshadow as well is really just going to help tie everything together so that it all matches in some type of way. So as you can see, I'm just very messily blending this 
through my crease and also taking it onto the lids a little. I'm also going to go ahead and run that along my bottom lash line as well. I'm using the Zaweva 232 Luxe Classic Shader for this because I have noticed with Kim's eye looks, although they are very simple, she always has some type of brown shade running along her bottom lash line and she really likes to have it smoothed out. Now for blush, I have noticed that with a lot of her looks, she does like to go for a neutral yet peachy toned blush. So for today, I'm using the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. This is in fact a peachy toned blush, but it does have somewhat of a shimmer throughout it. So it does give you that nice glow to the cheeks. And to apply it, I'm just using the Sigma F50 Duo Fiber Brush. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and highlight. So today I'm using the Laura Mercier Highlighter in Indiscretion. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply that to the tops of my cheekbones using the Anastasia Beverly Hills A23 highlighter brush and I'm also going to apply some of that to the bridge of my nose and also my cupid's bow. I still need to finish off the eyes so I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara. This is the Jordana Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara. Super inexpensive, it is drugstore but it is really good for the price you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a heavier coat to my bottom lashes because Kim does have really intense defined bottom lashes most of the time. And then I'm going to go a little lighter on the top just because I will be applying of course falsies. So now for falsies I know that Kim has really fluffy intense lash extensions that she always has on all the time but today I am going to be using the House of Lashes falsies in Siren. From all the looks that I've seen on her her lashes are always very wispy bold and intense yet somehow natural just because it goes with her look so i feel like these are perfect all right guys we are almost done all that's left to do are of course the lips so i'm gonna go ahead and line them first i'm using the mac lip liner in strip down and i'm pretty much just following my natural lip line but i am kind of overlining just a little bit in the center because as i'm sure all of you guys know kim does have very full lips so we want to emulate that with this look now for the actual lipstick today i'm using this one from MAC in the shade Honey Love. It is of course a nude because Kim does wear a lot of nudes. But the way that I would describe this lipstick is like a your lips but better kind of color because it is a neutral but it has a somewhat pinky undertone to it. So we're pretty much done at this point. Lastly, I'm just going to go back in with some of the Touch of Luminous Dewy Skin Mist just to once again give my skin that dewy glow. And I'm also just going to spritz some of the Maribodescu Facial Spray over top just to make sure that everything is definitely settled into the skin nicely. So there we have it guys. That is pretty much everything to it when it comes to my Kim Kardashian inspired makeup look. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're still here at the end watching and you're not yet subscribed to my channel you know what to do hit the little red button down below before you go and subscribe so you don't miss any more videos that I post as always I will leave a full list of everything that I used throughout this video down in the description box below where you can also find all the links to my social media accounts you guys can find me on Twitter Instagram Facebook and snapchat and all the links for those as I said will be in the description box down below. So with all that being said, I will chat to you guys in the comments and I will see you in my next video.